video. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to set up an LLC. So I see a lot of people ask me, Rakita, how do I get business credit? The first thing that I want you guys to understand is I need you guys to set up your LLC. So let's jump right on in and I'll show you how I will actually set up my LLC being in Wisconsin. So when you what you'll need to set up your LLC, you'll need the name. So you'll need the proposed name that you want to actually set up your name under your LLC. So say if I want to do like delete and remove LLC, that would be the name of my LLC. The register agent. So, you know, I always put myself as the reg register agent and then put my register office address and I go into that. And they need to know like what management would it be under the organizers, the drafter, the signature, the contact information for you, your payment, and then your fees. So let's jump right on it. The first thing, like when I come here, you guys, don't let this stuff scare you. So when I usually come here, I go all the way down and I click click here to start filing. So every every state that you like what every state out there should have their own website that you can go on. I've seen some for multiple states. Just look up, you know, Wisconsin LLC, Texas LLC, Florida LLC, California LLC, and you should be able to see it. Now, the first thing you want to see is see if your name is available. So if you want to see if your name is available, you just click here and then you can be able to, you know, they have the information out here that you can actually read. Or let me see here too. You can search their system in a database where you'll be able to see the actual name. So let's, let's throw a name out there and see if it's going to be in their system. So let's let them think a little bit. And they should pull up the form so that we can put our name in there to see if that name is even available. So let's see if it's even going to work fast enough for us, you guys. Okay, you guys, I don't think that it's going to let us search it. So if you want to search your name, you guys, you should be able to have it. If you're in Wisconsin, just click here. You should be able to search it. And then, too, you'll just put the name that you want your, your company to be down here. All that. LLC. <laughs> Yep, it can't be reached. So we're going to call it All That LLC. You can actually put Limited Liability Company or L period, L period, C period, so LLC. So you have to just put, you know, which one you want to put. So these are the ways you can put it here. So Limited Liability Company, Limited Liability Co. Or you can put LLC without the periods or with the periods LLC. So we're going to keep it just like this and click Next. Now they're going to ask like the register agent name. So let me go ahead. I'm going to fill this out as if we're really going to sign up, but I don't want to set up this LLC. So let me show you what I will put. So I will just put my name here. And my address. I will just put an address in here. Uh oh, they already have Wisconsin in there. Okay, there we go. And then I will click next. And they're going to ask, do, is there managers or is there members? Now, remember, too, sometimes you're setting up a company with multiple people. I guess you'll want to put them under you. I, I don't know. I like to put them, I like to put under management. And if you want more information on this too, you guys, uh-oh, is my internet still on? Okay, my internet is still on. I think I got limited internet, you guys, but you guys can read what's the difference between managers and members, and you can pick one. I'm not an attorney, so I can't tell you what to pick, but I'm going to go ahead and just pick the member manager. And then the organizer name, I'm just going to put up my information there. And sometimes, too, you can have one entity on and another entity. So you can just go ahead and put your address here. Now, let me say this, though. Um, when you're putting your information here, 
for when you put the company address here, hopefully you guys already have your virtual office set up. And if you guys don't have a virtual office set up, I'm going to make a video right after this to show you how to get a virtual office for cheap. But make sure you put that address in because you don't want to put any other address in other than your virtual address off your virtual address because if you put anything else in it's not going to be trackable in your business especially for business credit so make sure that you get your virtual out office before you even do this part of it um, so we're going to save this you can add another if you want but i'm going to save it it's only using me on my llc's so i will just click next and then the drafter they're asking who actually put this together so since i put this together i'm going to put my name here Um, this document is executed outside the United States. Note that, I mean, not United States, outside of Wisconsin. That's not true. So let's go next. So I'm Rakita Cannon. So let's put that in there. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this information. I don't know why I put Rakita Cannon on there, you guys. And then just put your address here. And then don't forget to you make sure you guys are putting that other address in. And then put your email address in. You can put your phone number in. And remember, you guys, it's this really this simple. Just put all this information in, click next. So usually when I create my LLC, I don't do the additional expedited fee. But now I know, like right now to you guys, it's a lot of people setting up LLCs. You may want to do expedited depending on your situation. But they're going to bring, bring you through all of this and ask, is this information correct? So I would just click next if I check and see that the information is correct. And then they should be asking me for my payment. Now, usually when I sign, like when I do this, you guys, usually like in an hour, I get the notification that everything's accepted and they send me my actual documents to let, them, let me know that everything is set up. Now, those documents is going to be your articles of incorporation. So that way that you'll, you'll be able to see that you are incorporated and you could take that to the bank and actually get your bank account. I don't think that they're going to let this go through, you guys, but my internet is not the best right now. So now that you have this done, you should get an email letting you, well, you should actually, um, they should be requesting a payment from you. After you make your payment, then you should be able to get that email and let you know, you know, it just depends on your state and your time. They should let you know, hey, everything is done. And at that time, you can take that in artic your articles and take that to the bank after you get your LLC so that you can go ahead and set up that account your bank account but it only like they want to let this go through you guys but that's basically all i would do for the lc and wisconsin is 130 dollars. i don't have to pay a middleman i just did it all myself so i know everything is good you guys so if you have any questions definitely let me know i'm so sorry that everything uh oh that's israel i'm so sorry that everything is not going fast enough but i'll be back with another video you guys and let me know if you need help with your state answer like specifically because I can definitely look that over for you.